From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big day here on LA Late. As we saw the inflation number come in this morning, we discussed it in that line breaking report. And tonight on Afternoons LA, we go over the details of inflation not peaking. What does it mean for your economy? What does it mean for you? We'll jump right into that number today. The inflationary number released today by the Department of Labor, the CPI, shows that inflation has not peaked yet in this economy. And what does it mean for you? You need to get that for so much check in every U.S. state. Go right under this video and become a member for Ball Hawk, for a Power Casino VIP. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over the biggest week that it was with that CPI print for the month of July, released minutes ago, and it does not show that inflation has peaked. We'll go over everything you need to know on that number, what has gone on with that number over the recent weeks. It rose a lot in the month of May, then in June, and then the July number released minutes ago, impacting your benefits. Why? Because if inflation stays high, your benefits go up a lot. How much? The largest lift of a generation. The organization that tracks this has a comment out minutes ago. We'll have the latest details across the board. We'll have a preview of tomorrow's unemployment numbers and what it's likely to say and not say. The big that it was is just getting underway because what's also at issue is the analysis and the speak. What has the Federal Reserve said about this? All oh, the latest today. Earnings recession, more contemporary companies continue to miss those earning front. What do you need to know? I'll have the analysis across the board. But boy, folks, that CPI print released this morning, that July CPI print that shows you what the inflation did for the month of July, has a lot of detail in it. Labor, how much the salaries went up. The housing, how much the housing went up. When you look at the total number, it came off a little bit, just a little bit, from the month of June. But then when you look at the core numbers, they went higher. Well, the big analysis in today's recording, because you've been asking those questions, that's what you want to ask. You want to dive into the details of the number, because that is where you see what's going on with this economy. Then say the second half is going to go over all the forces you get. We'll go over the raise of your benefits across the board. As one viewer said, are we definitely going to get a raise? Absolutely. We'll go over everything you need to know. The recession, inflation, your benefit raise. Of course, today, a big story, the housing market, the unemployment. It's a big show. It's a big day. It's breaking news, and it all starts right here, right now, as Afternoons LA gets underway. And good afternoon, everybody. It's that number we were waiting to see for over a month. The CPI print for the month of July. Let me give you the lead up so you know what's at issue. The inflation numbers amount to three different benchmarks at least. The CPI, the PPI, the retail sales, and in some regards also the personal consumption expenditure index. But of these three or four numbers, it's the CPI which is the most understood by Americans, the lead number that the Federal Reserve uses. Let's go over what that CPI did in the month of May and why it changed everything when it came out. That CPI in the month of May surged out of control, higher than anyone expected. And what did it do then? The CPI for inflation, consumer price index, how much the consumers pay for products in the month of May surged to the record level of a generation. It was out of control. How high was it in May? Let's look at the graphic right now. It came in that month at a whopping 8.6% print. Then in June, it went higher to 9.1%. That is a big lift to your benefits. We'll go the calculation of your benefits in just a second. Because remember, your benefits are tied to inflation. If inflation stays high, your benefits go up. We'll have the analysis of that in a second. The overview of it is that basically, if inflation stays high for three months, July, August, and September, your benefits go up 
astronomically a lifetime. Lynn Glenn asked in the live special report show, I hope my benefits go up. You don't have to hope. It's absolutely happening. It's absolutely happening. The only part of the issue in this recording is how much. And that's why we're being very specific about the numbers. Your benefits are definitely going up. The question is how much. So that CPI number was released minutes ago, and that is the July number. It's the first of three months we need to track because only three months determine how much your benefits go up in July August and September. And what happened with that number? You already saw the May print. You already saw the June number. What was the July number released minutes ago? It came in at an 8.7%. Actually, I butchered it again. It came in at 8.5%. May was 8.7%. June was 9.1%. The number that came in today for July, 85 So a little bit less than May, uh, a little bit less than June, but it's the, quote, headline number, you got to go into the details. Because when you go into the details, you realize it actually went up higher. Yes, the headline number looks like it's a little bit off, that it came off a little bit off the heat of June. But when you look in the details, the individual categories, they actually went up higher month to month. Let's go into those details starting right now. So-called core CPI rose 5.9% annually, so that's year to date. And then when you look at it compared to the prior month, did it go up or did it go down? It went up. It went up 0.3%. That excludes food and energy that is so-called CPI. Let's look at other some numbers. When you look at the food index, the component of the CPI that's just for food, you all know how expensive the milk and egg is. The source has gone up. Jump in the live chat. Food and milk and eggs gone up. I want to see your comments because guess what they show? The food index shows that for a 12 for a year to date it's up 11% the biggest leap since 1979 and that butter is up 26% year to date and that eggs are surged 38% while coffee's up 20% so the the food is up so hideously in one year you know 30% 38% 20% that is so astronomically up this shows no much of a reprieve from those heights now when you look at the monthly data, and this is where we're trying to see if there's any sort of pulling off or coming off the highs, have we peaked? No. When you look at the monthly data, you don't show any pulling off a peak. You see it actually going higher in the month of July compared to the month of June. Electricity prices. Do you, are you running the AC at home? You probably are. The electricity rose 1.6% compared to year to date. Uh, excuse me, rose one6 in the month to date, I should say, and year to date, we're up 15, 15%. So electricity is up 2% in one month. It's going up. It hasn't pulled down. And it's up 15% year to date. Interesting. Because we all have a lot of theories about this. Depends on how you use energy at home. But if you believe the energy is up because you're running the AC in the summer, do you use electricity to heat your home in the winter? Well, if you do, you think it's still going to go up a lot. It depends on how you view the situation, but there you go. Electricity went up year uh, month to month uh, about 2%. You may also uh, power the electric car. Uh, there we go. Then this is where we see some fascinating details on that special report because it, it was a breaking news report. I thank you for tuning in. It was astronomically watched like you can't imagine. It was earlier today, a special breaking news report about this. This is why you want to be a member. You don't want to miss any of the broadcasts. Go into this video, join this channel right now. I skipped over shelter. I'm like, who cares about shelter? <laughs> Go take shelter. No, I just, I'm not going to cover shelter. What a ridiculous comment I made by that. <laughs> why did I, why was I ridiculous? Because shelter is rent. Yeah, I didn't need to, for some reason, I'm a watch at the moment. I forgot to realize shelter is rent. So this is a big problem. Let's look at the problem of what we see in shelter. Shelter is one third of the CPI. I never knew this. We all learn a lot together on this channel. I never knew that shelter is one third of the CPI. And it was up 5.7% year to date. Wow. So that means the rent is up 6%. And that's the average. Now, gasoline is still up 44% year to date and fuel oil increased 76% year to date even though it's declining 11%. Now, we all knew that. We all knew the gasoline has pulled off. But wait a second. Here it gets really interesting. For every number that pulled down, another one, number went back up. This was a commonality of the report today. When you saw one number go down, you saw another one go, drop, go up. Here's an example. 
the energy, the electricity uh, rose 1.6% month to date, even though the other parts like fuel went down fascinating across the board. Now, here is another part of the issue, which is really fascinating. Um, this was the number that I wanted to bring on camera earlier today, and I didn't have it, and I have it for you today. Salaries rose month to date. Yes, they rose month to date, a little bit less than a percentage point, but that is not good. It's good if you want the salaries, but it's not good to, to, to claim to came with inflation. Here's the issue, is that if you see food going up month to date, here we go, month, monthly gain on food was 1.1%, shelter was 0.5%, so the rent went up 0.5% in one month. That's incredible. A half a percentage point, the rent went up in one month, and then the food went up 1.1% in one month. How much did your salaries go up in one month? 0.5%. Yeah, so your, your, your salary is not keeping up with how much it costs to live. You're getting paid a lot enough based upon how much it costs to live. Now, here's another part of the equation. You got to see the salaries come down before you see the top line of inflation come down. So the salaries have to come. Here's an example. If the CPI is at a 3%, the top line number, you got to see the salaries at a 2% or a 1% because they can't be higher. No one can afford a salary higher than the CPI. Business will go under. That is a recessionary environment. Wow. Um, now, when you look at salaries adjusted annualized, they're actually down for the year. That is, you know, there's so much data in here that just really shows you there's big problems in this economy, big problems left and right. Now, let's jump into the year-to-date numbers because the viewers were asking about it. I love it. You want to see those year-to-date numbers. What do you believe is the highest item up year-to-date? You know this one. This one's easy. Gasoline, of course. Fuel. Fuel is up 44% year-to-date, even though it's down 11% approximately for the month of July. The international price of Brent crude in the membership newsletter monthly, monthly nightly, uh, is tracking about 96 today. It was about 94 yesterday. It was about 100 about 10 days ago. But what is the second highest gained in one year? Which industry? Which number? If you guessed airline fares, which I would not guess, it's actually through the roof. It's up 30%, 27.7% year-to-date. It's the second biggest gain of any industry year-to-date. Electricity is up 15%, food at home 13%, new vehicles 10%, shelter 5.7%, beer hasn't gone up that much. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a lot of comments about that. <laughs> and I'm sure you have comments about it as well. <laughs> Wow. Airlines. We all love those airlines. I'm saying that sarcastically. I'm saying that really sarcastically. We love those airlines. And you know, as inflation comes down, guess what the airline fares are going to do? They're going to still stay high. <laughs> you just know it, don't you know it? You just know it. Uh, you know, the, the the beer will be going, they'll be getting rid of the beer. The beer will be free. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know we wish. Uh, and, and the used cars, oh, they'll just be giving away those free cars left and right. Uh, the, you know, the game shows. Um, but the airlines, they'll be going higher. Because <laughs> they're airlines. They just, yeah. Um, <laughs> wow. So what is the takeaway so far? The takeaway so far is that inflation has not peaked, number one. When you look at the components of these inflationary numbers, many of them are up month to date. So for anyone to go out and celebrate, and they were celebrating, they were celebrating those ridiculous analysts. I got, we can need a name for them. Ridiculous analysts. I'm coming, this is, you know, my shows are always impromptu. We need a name for those ridiculous analysts. RADs, <laughs> ridiculous analysts. Uh, uh, go drink a beer. <laughs> go beer chug that. Yeah, it's just, the ridiculous analysts, they were out there celebrating in the streets today. They said, inflation's peaked. Where do you see inflation speak to this? Where do you see? You don't see it. And yet they were running their quotes to get their face out there with their glasses that they wear. And that same hairstyle, you know who she is. Uh, I'm not going to name her by name. You, you know who she is. She got that quote. She got her name out there. And that's what she does. 
and yet it always looks foolish. Not the hairstyle, the, the, the analysis. Uh, inflation has not peaked. So this tees up the second, the third, and the fourth parts of the same recording. In the second part, we're going to go over the benefit lift. Third part, we're going to go over your, your fourth stimulus, why you need to get it, because things cost you still a lot of money. They have not come down the prices. And in the fourth part of the recording, we go over recession versus no recession, camp one versus camp two. Boy, folks, this is a big recording. And you can see how I'm looking at the clock because I just don't know how I'm going to get it all in here. Let me go over what was so important to understand going into today's recording, which was this was the first of three months that you and I were tracking. Why? I had taught you really well. You have learned that three months determine how much your benefits go up. What's at issue? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, C-O-L-A, and it's determined by another number. And that number is actually three months of that number. The CPI-W, part of the CPI we released today, that's released today, and then August, and then September. Three months of data. And when that CPI surged out of control in May, we knew we had to watch the three months. July released today, August released in 30 days from now, and September released thereafter. In between, we'll have other numbers that give us a gauge of what that number could come in at. First, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index will release in between the numbers. We got that last week. The PPI, which I think may be tomorrow. The personal, uh, the um, this is this gauges how much the wholesaler pays for the goods, and the retail sales. Those numbers in between the CPIs give us guidance, so we have an idea what happens before that CPI print comes in. And again, this is why this is big news for you, because as these inflation number numbers go up, your benefits go up a lot. We need to see three months of data. We have the first number today, and that first number today, of course, is the July print. We have to see the August, the September numbers, and they are released 30 days thereafter. As inflation tracks higher, then your benefits track higher, not just one month, not just one year, but lifetime. 8.6, May. 8.9.1, June. Today, 8.5. And your benefits go up a lot. So today is CPI. We saw this rendition of these three numbers back on July 13th. Then was PPI, CPI, PPI, and retail sales. So let's go over what this means for your benefits. Let's do the benefits analysis starting right now. Your benefits are going up a lot. How much? About $5,000. But we'll go over the calculation in just a second. Because they're tied to, bene uh, to inflation, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Which three months? The first month is today. Today, July, then August, then September. Okay, let's go over... The numbers, the calculation, and the analysis. First, the numbers are determined by inflation. And what we learned today is really, if inflation is, let's say, a 9, that doesn't mean your benefits go up 9%. They actually go up more than that. That's the first thing. Number two, it's up to commentary. So it's really not a hard data point yet. The Social Security Chief Actuary, Steve Goss, is likely to speak today. I haven't seen, seen his comment yet. But he's likely to say, hey, based upon today's CPI, I'm going to say, your call is, your benefit lift may be this. We have one organization I'll get to a second. They say, based upon today's number, I think it's going to be this. But that's just analysis. It's not data. Lynn Glenn had a great comment. I hope my benefits go up. You don't have to hope that. They definitely are going up. They're definitely going up because inflation is this number. Inflation is not going to go to 2 or 1 or 3% by the month of August. It's not going to happen, ever going to happen. So your benefits are going to go up. What we're doing in this recording, we're just trying to see how much they're going to go up. So first, let me go over what you and I need to do. We need to watch all the inflationary numbers released between now and next month. That gives us a gauge of what's going on in this month of August. Then we need to see the August CPI. Then we need to see everything in that month of August before the August numbers release. And then we need to see the September CPI. And then we'll get a gauge. I said going into today's recording, if today's number was red hot, we may have a really good indication of what's happening for the next two numbers. My analysis, this is pretty flat. So it's looking really good. 
if you think, it depends on how you see numbers. If you think that 8.5 is basically the same as 9.1, is basically the same as 8.7, then it's basically a flat number. So it's looking really good. Let's go over then to the analysis and what some organizations are saying. One of the top organizations that I ran quotes for before, whenever we go over your benefits lift, is this organization. The Social Security, is the, excuse me, the Seniors Citizens League. They said that based upon today's number, it looks like COLA could have a 10.1% increase in your benefits lifetime. Wow, 10.1%, that is incredible. So they're saying based upon the 8.5%, remember today's number, 8.5% COLA, excuse me, CPI today, 8.5%, they believe your benefits would go up 10.1%. So obviously the benefits go up more than the actual CPI number is. Again, today's 8.5%, they're looking at not a 10.1% COLA. Now, if inflation cools down on those next two months, they said you still look could potentially get a 93 What do I think? What do you think? Jump in the live chat. Do you think it's higher? Do you think it's lower? You know, it, I, I think a lot of these numbers are dependent on factors. One, I mean, my eye-opener in this recording, and I learn like you learn every day, is that shelter is 30% of the CPI. Well, if those landlords don't want to cut the shelter costs, if the landlords keep the rent just as high as they are in right now, you don't have to really guess about that number if it's 30% of the CPI, and they're not going to reduce the shelter anytime in the month of August or September, then it's basically going to be the same number. Pretty easy there. The food has come down, but not a lot. Gasoline has come down, but gasoline's not going to get that cheap. I mean, gasoline can't come down astronomically. So there's not a lot of downward spiral on the gasoline. And then the big question is the energy. Energy is going to go higher at some point when you have utilities ramping up with those cool months coming in. You know, August is a very hot month in some states. So it's, it's a lot of analysis you can be running in your head. August is hot. Run the AC more than you ran in July. How many states can have big heat in August? September's a hot month. September's a lot of AC running. Yeah, so there's a lot of analysis you can run in your in the back of your mind and jump in the live chat. Do you think energy is going to be higher? I think it's going to be higher. Do you think shelter is going to stay the same? I think shelter is going to stay the same. Do you think the airlines are going to raise their rates? Yeah. Do you think the beer will be the, the beer will be free? I hope it will be. Uh, <laughs> do you think the lobster will be cheaper? I don't really care. <laughs> I know Mitch does. So, yeah, this is looking really good. Do I agree with the social with that group that it's going to be a 10% little raise? I think it'll be more. Now, let's go over how this works for you. Direct deposit in the mail, yes. However you get your benefits check, automatic. You don't have to do anything for this. This is automatic stimulus. This is why I stay on this message. I've been covering it for a very long time. Number two, uh... $5,000 for everyone? No. Some of you more, some of you less. Second, third... Uh, same percentage? Absolutely. What about your health care benefits? I'll be covering that in the second half because i got to go over that with you. It's very interesting. And then in the big second half, we'll go over, of course, your four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. We're going to go over all those incredible four stimulus checks in detail, but let's go over an overview of those checks starting right now. Why do you need those checks? For obvious reasons. If shelter and rent is higher, then you need to get this money. If food has not come down, you need to get this money. If the utilities have not come down, you need to get this money. And how do you get it? You become a member. Go right in this video, become a member. Hundreds of people joining daily, people upgrading, people renewing. You need to stay on this channel because there is so much breaking news. This is America's number three most watched financial news channel in America. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. But what do you need to know about these checks? Let's go over the details of it right now. It's about $100,000 done by executive action in the month of March by President Joseph Biden, and they're absolutely incredible. Those series of checks viewers have been getting, 80 checks, 14 checks, 12 checks. Viewers are cleaning up. You deserve to clean up as well. Who is it? It's for you, and you qualify generally. Single individual, 75000 less. Go get them. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, if you're ahead of them bills, if you're behind on bills, if you like lobster shorts, don't ask me. Uh, if you like lobster shorts, I don't want to know. 
<laughs> and get that membership sign up right today. Go into this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. One of the benefits of being a member is the worksheets. And I love viewers asking a lot of questions about these worksheets. Again, where are the worksheets in the newsletter? Down around the third line of the newsletter. In the newsletter, it says at the third line, click here to see the worksheets. It actually says worksheets, again, in the newsletter. Now let's go over what we know about those worksheets today. What are the worksheets? It's a PDF. It's a PDF, a series of pages you print out from your phone or computer. You can download and take notes, separate piece of paper. We learned a lot today with the what to put on the worksheets. Let's go over the first page. Inflation. So we did that, all that part of the recording. The, the headline inflation slightly down compared to the month of May and June. But when you look at the core numbers, some of them are up month to date. Recession, the big second half of this recording, we can go over that recession. Camp one, camp two, we'll do a lot of this on EJ's LA when we have a longer running time. Very, very fascinating. My position changed. Nope, I believe a deep recession, very prolonged, will be hitting the US economy because the Federal Reserve will be raising those rates consistently into 2023 is my opinion. Labor, Thursday is the new jobless claims. 260,000 last week. It may likely be the same. It may likely to be the same. If it's not, it's just going to be a little bit less. That's tomorrow. I'll have that on mornings live. Federal Reserve, definitely going to do 75 basis point at that September FOMC meeting. And I think they're going to keep on doing 75 for a while. The next page of the worksheet is the one that is a game changer. It's a table. Worksheets. Ever heard that before? No, this is LLA. This is why this is the number three most watched financial channel, chasing number two. This is stuff you don't get anywhere else. It's all free for members. In the worksheets, page two is a wonderful table that has been the game changer. It's a place to keep track of the checks you applied for. How many checks are you applying for today? I hope your answer is a lot of them. That's what you should be doing. When you applied, what date you applied? Who is the contact? What's his name or their name, their extension? You want to keep track of it. And what are the success stories? Last week, one viewer got 12 months of, of utilities. Incredible. Last week, one viewer got 14 months of rent. Astronomical. Spelling got check A for the weather rising. And then he got some check C's. And then one viewer out of Florida got a whopping 80 to 100 for so much checks. She's not a rarity. It's a regular occurrence. How did she do it? Well, she used the worksheet. She applied for check B. She applied everywhere and how she could apply for check B. But she forgot she did. And she put on the worksheets. And then she got that email from the start from Florida. It said, ma'am, you've been approved. Congratulations. Which check? Check B. Wow. For what? Mortgage. Incredible. One month? No. 18 months of mortgage. At is incredible. 18 months of a mortgage, that's tens of thousands of dollars. It gets better than that. She also applied for all utilities. Let's say she had four utilities and mortgage, that's five checks per month, five checks per month times 18 months. Are you speechless? You shouldn't be because it can be you. 18 months at five checks a month approximately, that is 80 checks. She's not a rare circumstance. It's happening all the time. That's the power of the purple. That's the power of the purple power community. That's the power of the purple power family. Become a member. Go right in this video. Become a member. On evenings at 5 o'clock Pacific time, we'll go over the next pages of the worksheets, which are your benefits, your uh, gasoline, and your student loan debt forgiveness. But for now, what I want you to pencil in for that benefits page is, of course, what that organization said. That organization said that they're looking for a raise of your benefits of 10.1%. Again, 10.1% based upon the data of today. If they believe that if there is a possibility inflation cools dramatically, they believe the benefit raise would be 9.3. So take your current yearly benefits, times it by 10.1%. That is what they're projecting, their projection. It's just analysis. It's not fact. It's not law. It's not a reality yet. They're projecting your benefits would be 10.1%. So here's an example. If your annual benefits is, um, you know, thousand dollars take a calculate say times 10.1 and that will give you the uh that will give you how much additional your benefits would be if you want to know how to do the total then you would take that you would take let's say your your current benefits let's say it's thousand dollars times one and the and the number after that w times 1.10 uh on the calculator and that will give you the total amount that there's that they're projecting it's just a projection across the board
In the big second half, we're going to go over these incredible four stimulus checks for you to get. You, you understand why this channel is the difference. You know, uh, the number one financial news channel out today, you know, their CPI coverage was 200 words. And then for benefits, you know, one article just sort of briefly went over it. <laughs> you know, uh, this is why you want to be part of this channel. You want to watch the videos. You want to see everything that's going on. You want to become a member. Go right on this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Join this channel because it makes the difference for your family, for your household. Become a member and stay a member. Members on this channel have been members for 18 months and 21 months because this is the news you deserve, the analysis that's accurate, the data that's here. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as we go over more about these checks, the recession, and more about what's going on with your benefits left. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in the big second half with the CPI released today, but we're far from over with the breaking news this week. We have the producer price index, the retail sales, and on Thursday, of course, the labor numbers. What we'll see in those labor numbers, this is what we've been watching. 260 was last week. We'll be watching whether those labor numbers surge. We'll be also tracking the issue with earnings recession. Companies continue to miss. I had a lot of them yesterday. We'll have more about them either tonight and also tomorrow morning. It's a big day. And in this big second half, we're going to go over your incredible checks. We're going to go over the impact of Medicare with the benefit lift. And we'll go over the recessionary discussion. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's the benefit raises your housing market, your unemployment, and more. It's forced stimulus, and the breaking news continues right now on a big afternoon of Afternoons LA. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful day. You know, it's it's the data that really wakens up the eyes. Viewers were just really on point today, saying, but get into the get into the details, LA. Get down into the details. I don't want to just hear the top line number. I just want to hear the overall CPI number. I want to hear what's going on in the details. And here you see, shelter has up the rent is up so astronomical year to date, month to date, and those landlords may not cut the rent. The salaries are not up that proportionally. Yeah. This is why you have to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is without a recession. If you don't think there's a recession, you know, this enough alone, this data today is enough alone to say, hey, I need a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. And let's go over those incredible checks starting right now. You know, what's at issue is, what's at issue is, is that these force stimulus checks have been around for a while. And a financial cliff could be just days away in September. You don't want to risk it. You want to get that membership signed up right today and go over those incredible checks with me right now. And that's what we're going to do in this big second half. Back in the month of March, viewers said, LA, can you find us some checks? And I did. And viewers have been getting them. 
approximately one hundred thousand dollars. I went abroad. I went in big checks because we're gonna have two years of recession, in my opinion. Then I went abroad eligibility. I got it. Single individual seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, you have children. If you don't have children, ahead on bills, behind on bills. They're in every U.S. state. Every U.S. state. Because it's federal law. It's not state law. It's not state stimulus. It's from the federal government. And in this big second half, we're going to go over how to get these incredible three checks. They're all in the membership newsletter. As you become a member, let's go over those incredible checks starting right now. Check A is the first check. $6,500 to $12,000. First stimulus check in every U.S. state. How do you get that incredible check? Where is it? What does it look like? Let's go over the details starting right now. It's $6,500 to $12,000. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. You go uh, single individual, $75,000 or less, married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. How do you get it? Step one, join the channel. Step two, go down to the membership newsletter, delivered via the member alerts, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, do you find check A? Click the link, it sends you right into the nationwide website. Then you choose your state, and then you choose the weatherizing grant, and you go get it. Incredible great news. We're not done there yet. We're going to go with check B. This is the check that Spelling got. This is the wonderful check that Spelling got. And how do you get this? Step one, become a member. Step two, you go down in the membership newsletter. Do you find check B? There it is. Click the link. You go right into check B. And you choose your state. You go get it. You get that incredible check, and it boys a lot, fifteen dollars to $80,000. This is the check the viewer in Florida got. 80-plus checks. It's huge. And look how well we've done. 80000 there for check B. 12000 for check A. That's about $100,000. My goodness, we're not done there yet. We're going to go with check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgages, is more. How do you get it? Step one, you know the routine. Go on this video, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Then join in the channel, become a member, and get that membership newsletter for via the member alerts Monday through Friday. Go down in the member alerts to you find the check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. And the success stories of check C are abounds. We've been getting check C on this channel for over a year and a half. It's the residue of third stimulus. You want to see some of the success stories? Just some of them? Let's look at them right now. Do you want these numbers for rent? Go get check C from Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth, 30,000. Go get check C's. Do you want these types of monies for utilities? Go get check C's. Mark's father lost King, 50,000. And then combinations of these checks, Nisi and Lorraine and Margaret and Johnny and Nancy. Look at that. Nisi went from 23,000 to 50,000. Mark went from 32,000 to 166,000. This is Mark. He went from 32 to 50, from 50 to 100, and then 100 to 166. And Lorraine went from 105 to 155. Incredible across the board. How do you do this? You want to get a check, keep on getting checks, and don't stop getting checks. Nisa, Lorraine, Mark, and Johnny, all these people do the same thing. First, they're in all the shows, in the live chats. You need to know what's going on with this economy. I don't repeat the data. There's too much going on. There's too, moving, too many moving parts. There's too much wrong analysis out there. You need to know what's going on with this economy because if you don't know it ahead of time, you're going to be in big trouble. You need to be a member, stay a member, and continue to be a member. Welcome to the hundreds of new members daily that are joining. Welcome to all the reoccurring members. A lot of members are over 18 months. That's where you want to be. You want to stay a member. And number three, welcome to all the members who've upgraded from Purple Hawk to Purple Power and Calcino VIP. Number three, these are number two. <laughs> I'm losing that. Yeah. Uh, Lisi, Lorraine, and Margaret, and Johnny, they keep on getting checks. That's what you want to do. You want to get a check and keep on getting additional checks across the board. Let me jump in here and put it just a tad side note. It doesn't really belong anywhere else. Uh, sporadically, once in a blue moon, I see someone post something, and I think to myself, how many times do I have to say this? <laughs> there is always someone who sim simply thinks they can go off script. What is off a script? Do what I'm saying, but their way. No. When I'm teaching you how to do something, you do exactly the way I say it. You don't do a version of it. So, for example, this person was calling up the state saying, hi, do you have any state stimulus checks? Uh, no, that's not what I'm teaching on this channel. You don't call up and just say, randomly ask, hey, do you have some state stimulus checks? Because these aren't state stimulus checks. These are from the federal government. Why are you calling up the state? The state doesn't send out the money. The state doesn't write the checks. So why are you doing that? That's not what I'm teaching on this channel. And then um, someone, uh, you know, calling up and trying to apply for check A. 
it's an online application. You can't call up and apply on the phone. So don't change what I say. Don't do a version of it. Do it exactly like I would say. The greatest thing about streaming platform, the greatest thing of a streaming platform is the videos are there. So you can always replay the video. If you're watching it live and you miss it, you can go into the video and toggle back and replay a section. If, you, if I tell you that the newsletter is in, the worksheets are in the newsletter, you're like, what did you say? I missed it. Just replay it back and you can hear it across the board. All right, let's go into those other big breaking stories that are happening right today, which, of course, some people are asking about their benefit raises and the impact on your health care and the recession versus no recession. First, one of the hardest subject matters for me to discuss is your uh, your health care benefits, because I'm not a health care guy. I don't know a lot about it. But what I can tell you is what I saw today, and I can give you guidance across the board of what I understand, which is not a lot of detail, but hopefully it helps you. First, when your benefits go up, and they're going to be going up a lot. First, they're going to be going up. They're going to be going up a lot, the largest of a generation. And once they go up, they stay up, and they're not going to go down. Once they go up, are your benefits going to be eaten up completely by, by health insurance? No, 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 no. That's not happening. It is not happening. I read enough to see that today. It is absolutely not happening. Number two, will some of your, will some people's health care benefits go up? Yes, but not everyone has the same, same, same health care benefit. So please be respectful of other viewers. Do not write stuff in the live chat as though it applies to everyone because someone else may see it and think it's them. For example, you may be Medicare Part B, you may be Medicare Part A, you may have D, you may have another package, and it's not all the same for everyone else. So don't write these sort of blanket comments that people see and say, oh no, that's horrible news. Don't write it. It's fake news or it's vague and it doesn't apply to everyone. Please be respectful of other people that are not on the same benefit plan. Under no circumstance do we see anything where your benefits are gonna be eaten up, your benefit rise is gonna be eaten up by your health benefits. It's absolutely untrue, absolutely untrue across the board. This is where it gets even more difficult to analyze, and I'm not gonna do it, is that bill that's floating around in Congress that has not yet passed is trying to reduce your prescription medication costs. If it passes, then you'll even pay less for your health benefits than we're even discussing right here. So it's all good news. There's nothing bad. If you're one of those people who wants to always see black and things, have a cup of coffee. <laughs> have some beer, because beer's not going up that much in price. Because your benefits are going up astronomically in the most of a generation. And anyone who wants to say, but it's going to be eaten up by your by healthcare, it's absolutely untrue. And be careful, because you may not be back. <laughs> you write it because it's untrue. It's fake facts. All right, now let's go into the recession versus not recession. I'm going to just do a teaser of this. It's going to be more on Evening's LA tonight. Recession versus not recession. It teases us back to what Bowman said. If there's something that is very reliable, it's the Federal Reserve governors. They tell you what they're going to do. They say, hi, I'm Fed Governor Bowman, and this is what I want to do, and they do it. I don't know why analysts who sit in their um, beautiful sky rays, sky rises in New York can simply say, no, the Fed governors are lying to you. They're going to do something else. No, go with what the Fed governors say they're going to do because they do it. And what did Bowman say over the weekend? She gave us very clear indication. And her comments were not alone because Daly out of San Francisco and Boulevard out of St. Louis said it the day before. Michelle Bowman um, said the following on Saturday that she um, subscribes to a 75 basis point increase, the same as July. In September, I told you that first. I told you it's going to be 75. No one believed me. 30% was the minority when I said it was 75 basis point. Now it's 100% of Wall Street analysts believe it's going to be 75 in September. But they still think it's the final rate increase height. No, no, no. Let me tell you what Bowman says. We, um, similar size increases, which is basically saying it's going to be the same as July, 75, are, should be on the table. And we need to see, okay, watch these words. These are powerful words. This should be in the back of your mind, not forgotten. We need to see inflation declining in a consistent, it means month after month, meaningful. That means a lot. <laughs> Down, you know, from, what was it, 6-1 to 
0.85 is not meaningful. It's ridiculous. It's not anything to even celebrate. It's not even something to, well, Mitch, you know, you'll put on lobster shorts for anything. <laughs> it's not meaningful. <laughs> it has no meaning. It's basically a lot. And then a lasting way. So she basically says, hey, lots of interest rate spikes until we have inflation down. How is meaningful? Where is meaningful? Here's my analysis. Three or four percent. Three or four percent. If we're down near five percent, that is like, okay, we're going. We're getting going here. If you're doing these eight fours, eight threes, seven nines, seven fours, seven fives, they're going to laugh at it, the Federal Reserve. They're going to be like, that's not meaningful. We need four and five and three, not this eight and seven and, and you know, six. They won't even like six. And so what happens then? This is what happens. The Federal Reserve will keep on interest rates spiking. I've been telling you this all a while. Those crazy Wall Street analysts, stock analysts generally, Camp One, says, no, the labor's so great that we're gonna, we don't even have a recession. Wrong. I'm Camp Two. <laughs> well, let me just tell you, Camp One. Camp One, we don't have a recession. Uh, labor's really strong. Lowest unemployment since 1969. Uh, economy sustained everything and everything will be fine. And 75% of all uh, S&P stocks are, are up uh, in second quarter earnings. Okay, that's camp one. They're the stock creators. Camp two, the bond traders that are always right. The oil traders are usually right. And me, well, you can gauge how often I'm right. <laughs> and what happens on that front? Well, the bond traders say no. All, all, three, all three people in camp two say the same thing, as do I. The Federal Reserve is going to have an interest rate spike of 75 basis points in September. Then again, and keep on spiking. And they're going to keep on spiking because inflation ain't coming down, folks. We have a long way to go to 4%. They went to 2%, remember? A long way to go. So they're going to be interest rates spiking into 2023. Take this video. Share it. Save it. Because I like to tell you they're going to be interest rates spiking into 2023. Those crazy Wall Street analysts say they're going to be done September. No way. They're going to be interest rates spiking in 2023. Business won't be able to afford it. They won't be able to cover their debt. They'll start laying off people. The labor market falls apart later in a recession, not the start of a recession. That's historical. That's data. And then you have big problems. And that's why Camp 2 is where I am. Which camp are you? Camp 1, Camp 2? Some viewers are Camp 1. And some viewers are absolutely Camp 1. I saw it. I support all of you. So you put whatever you want to put in the live chat. Come at tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It is evenings LA. It's going to be a pick show tonight. Oh, my goodness. The heat is on. It is really hot here in Southern California. So hopefully you're cooling down. The inflation is hot as well. <laughs> it's a big day. And we're far from over. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, thank you for joining me on today's uh, broadcast. Join me at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, but don't forget to become a member. Get those incredible checks because you deserve them. You need to get them right today. Go into this video, join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, so you know VIP. And for the shorts of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.